This area seems new. And I'm definitely hearing some things. Ill-formed dazzled skull. That sounds lovely. I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners. Well. Can't go that way. Oh my god. That lady over there does not be quiet ever. Go this way. No, she's just gonna shout a lot. All right. What's this? Bunch of newspapers. All right. What do we got over here? Oh. Where's this go? Oh. Alright. It's locked, alright. Your face is locked. Okay. So that is probably some other place that we're gonna go to for missions? Probably. This is something. Okay, where are we currently? Oh, I know where we are. White Chapel's alright over here. The West End. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. Well, the place is kind of a dump. Alright, so we are in the West End now. New dialogue available. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna be heading back there then. Anyway. You must die. Alright. I don't know what is with all that fart gas, but okay. Unlocked. Bullet. Remember that was? Okay. Ah. This should be some that's locked. in there. That place is locked. And then this goes back this way. Okay. I thought there was another area we could go to. It looks like there's a way through here. Ah, there is! Silver fork. Okay. Alright, let me double check over here though. 
Okay. Now we are good. What do we have? We have that guy. And there's a couple of them. Here now. Pick that up. And okay. Should be able to open this now. Yeah, okay, easy access. a little bit. So I need to stay away from those when I kill them. It's good to know. Um, anything else of importance here? Not really. We do have a hideout here. Okay, let's... Way. Perfume bottle. The Ascalon Club. The heart of British vampire society. Not quite as subtle as I expected. Oh. There's people here. I like the music. Uh, before I do that, though. weird. Before I do that, I'm gonna go over here and try to open up this area and steal things out of people's garbage. And out of people's boxes. Steal things. Steal all of the things. Hey. Okay. She wants to talk. Oh, he wants to talk. They both want to talk. I feel like I want to finish looking at the area around here while still ignoring the club. Hello? Is anyone there? Jonathan, is that you? I did not know you were back in London. Uh-oh. Oh, my dear Johnny, I'm so sorry for your loss. Mary was such a sweetheart. Thank you, Venus. May I come in? I was going to bed, actually. Forgive me. With the epidemic, I tend to forget people are supposed to sleep at night. I'll tell you what. Come back tomorrow for tea. I'll be glad to see you then. <laughs> Alright, we should be able to open up the area for the no north docks up here. Hey! Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is great. We have access to the full area. Sorry, sir, you must die. There we go. He died. Those are some gross sounds. Um, 
Okay, I know I want to talk to those other people before I continue the main plotline, but I also want to talk to people here. I don't know, everyone just needs to be talked to. It's a whole big to-do. Okay. So if we head up... Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a tiny area, I guess. Kinda looks like I should be able to teleport up there, but... Oh well, guess not. Okay, map says continue along this way. Right, Ascon Club is that way. We don't want to go there. Elsewhere. Also, a place I don't think I want to go. Yeah, that leads to the Ascalon Club. Let's not do that. Let's go this way. What is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, this place is locked. Curiosity. Uh, this is per the perfect place to view someone. Oh wait, we can go in there. You can tell because there's a glowy box in there, so we should be able to go in there at some point. This whole area up here. Okay. Temple Garden. Okay, what's this split go? Ah, we should go this way, because it's a dead end. Well, there wasn't anything here. Okay. This is a very large area. Yeah, okay. This is a very large area. Do I want to circle back this way? I don't know if I do. Yes, I do. I kind of want to take a look at the hideout. Oh, we can go in here. And that's not blocked off. This just goes into the west end. Okay. in here. Yeah, I'm heading back into the garden at this point. <clears throat> Gosh, I'm losing my voice too. Uh, okay. Bust through here. Where does this lead us? Oh, okay, it's kind of just back into the West End area. This is super dusty. Okay, oh. You must die. He's very strong. Oh, he's like... I actually can't kill him. I 
actually can't kill this guy. Ouch. Who's this person that needs help? Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but there's gonna be a problem. I'll take it. Okay. Okay, I thought I heard someone else walking around, but I guess not. Um. A restaurant where the guests are blindfolded before being seated. Intriguing. If I can't kill that guy, I don't know how to save this person. That's a, a big problem. As it's not holy water, I may find some use for it. Actually, no, we might need holy water at this point because that one guy's really strong. Let's avoid that for right now. Okay. What's down this way? Oh. My hideout should be over here somewhere. It's up there. I just want to look about what else is around here. Not much of anything, really. I don't know what to do about that guy because I used my most powerful move and it did absolutely nothing to him. This is my actual house. It is. It's my actual house. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I think I have an idea on how to deal with this. First, let's try this. Oh! That got him. Okay. I figured I was gonna have to do a lot of other stuff. Cause... Oh. Well, that vampire, he- I like- you saw it before, I couldn't hit him at all. I don't think- I- I- I, I looked over the footage again and I realized that this probably wasn't a bug. It was probably just that, like, he had some sort of thing on himself that was preventing him from getting damage. So I think because I attacked him first, he didn't have time to put up his his thing, shield, whatever it was. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need help, sir? I think I'm fine. But what happened to my jailer? Be careful. He's as vicious as he is strong. You don't have to worry about him anymore. What happened here? I am Tadao Kimura. 
I was imprisoned by this lunatic for several days. I thought I was going to die here. You're not going to die now, Mr. Kimura. If you hurry, you should be able to get home safely. It seems that I owe you my life. You have all my gratitude, Dr. Reed, since it is the most precious thing I possess. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. Okay. I'm just gonna steal everything in here now. Necklace. The heresy of the pure blood. Pure blood, we know, is the expression. We heard it in the foul mouth of heretics and the foreign barbarians. Used it sometimes ourselves. But do we, do we really know what it means? A vampire born of an immortal belly. What a disgusting idea. Who would such a creature find its place among the livings? What would be its purpose? Ours is clear, gentlemen. Ascalon is here to protect the Empire and all of its citizens. We are the protectors and the shepherds. Even when it sometimes it sacrifice, sometimes sacrifice a sheep for our sustenance. Whoever will be found guilty of succumbing to the desires of breeding a mortal child shall be eradicated from law of Ascalon. Okay, we're good now. Rescuing people is always a bit of a worry. I, I went up there. It's just like a faster way to the that area in here. Oh, actually. Let's continue this way. What do we have? Oh, I know where we are. Oh wait, I've already done this, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Okay. I think I've done a circle then. I think I have. Okay. In that case, I should talk to these other people. I don't want to miss dialogue. So I'm going to go do that. Oh, we actually can just walk around her place. Steal all of her things. Huh. Did not realize we could loot this place. Tonight I went with my mother visiting the sick of the East End. It had been a long time since I went in the sad part of town. To see her talking and listening to those th poor people be moved me beyond words. She really tries to make a difference, and really tries to help these men and women. She also killed one of them tonight. It happened so quickly I did not even notice she had vanished. But when she reappeared she looked so much more alive, more vivid. I immediately knew what had just happened. She took a life and I saw nothing. We turned home without a word. If I ever become like her, I won't feed on the dying. I will kill the guilty and the brutes wherever they hide. This afternoon, two men tried to corner me in a back alley while I was campaigning for the woman's right to vote. I called out for help as loud as I could, like my mother told me. I don't know what would have happened if a soldier had not ordered them to leave me alone. He then walked me back home and tried to kiss me. I refused. He did not say a word and left. The whole story made me sad. I was still crying when mother woke up after the night had come told her the whole truth and she had held me against her chest. Then I went to the theater to see Dor Doris Fletcher in her new play. I think I'm a little bit frustrated that Mother did not rush out to make them all pay. If I were a vampire, I would not be that merciful. We had a terrible argument with- I had a terrible mo argument with Mother last night when she refused once again to turn me into an immortal. When I remembered her of what had happened to me in the street with those two men, and how things would have been different if I had been like her, or if they had carried weapons, she simply smiled and told me that to be a part of this world meant to be ready to face it. I'm not sure I understand what she means, but it drives me crazy. I left home in the middle of the night to see Emily at her house, and I spent the whole day there. Maybe it's time for me to leave Mother's house and live, with, live my life just like Emily. I love Mother so much, but it frustrates me so when she refuses to talk about my conversation. Tonight, I'm as sad as I am excited, for I'm about to leave this house for good. Mother has agreed to let me have my own flat in the West End, as long as it's not too far from her house. I had to promise her I would be very careful. I told her how much I love her, and she told me she was proud of me. 
I understand now that she only wants me to be as strong as independent as she is. I must admit I'm very thankful for all she has taught me through the years. She made me the woman I am today. Now it's time for me to choose to where to go from here. Whatever I'm going to do with my life, it's all up to me. All I know is this, if I ever choose to become an immortal, I will not involve my mother in my choice, for this is my life and I am responsible for my actions. Huh. Oh. She must be a citizen in here. She has a daughter. I guess vampires can have human children somehow? Not entirely sure how that would work. This vase here is having issues. This is To the inspiring Lady Asbury, there are darknesses in life and there are lights, and you're one of the lights. The light of all lights. Bram Stoker. Ha! Oops. That's very interesting. And that's locked. Go this way, I guess. Oh, here she is. I guess I'm just allowed in her house randomly. Only a few of us remain after the shock of the great hunt. I was one of them. I remember how the sudden attack of the enemy caught us all by surprise. Blood was shed during those few nights. Some of us who survived chose to exile. I don't blame them, but I regret their lack of fortitude. For it is courage we need to protect the interests of the Empire. Courage we need to defend the values we stand for. May we all remember that William Marsh himself never lowered his head. My beloved maker may be long gone now, but his presence is still among us. We keep a few drops of his sacred blood to remind us that what we are and what we seek. Honor, purity, and excellence. I had the privilege of speaking with the knight many times, as his progeny and as his friend. He spoke to me of the tear of angels, the holy beverage supposed to appease the inextinguishable hunger we all feel, that he never ceased to search even without knowing if such artifact exists. I admired his tenacity, and it is his, this tenacity, this indefectible belief in something bigger than us, that will make us survive any future great hunt launched by our enemies. Esclon will be rebuilt, always, for it is an ideal. Oh, oh she's painting us! Hello again, Jonathan. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Sorry to disturb you again, but could you spare me a few minutes? Of course, my dear. Always a pleasure to speak with you. Concerning your investigation... Yes? Are you truly seeking to identify my maker? I cannot promise you anything, but yes. I am conducting some research of my own. Do you think we shall ever see better days? Or at least... Better nights. I know not, Jonathan. I have seen some horrid days in my long lifetime. Experience has taught me that one cannot outrun the fates. When all of this is over, the war and the epidemic, we could leave the city for a while. Travel around Europe, you and I. Traveling is always so complicated for us poor creatures of the night. But yes. I would be glad to travel the world with you, my dear. Will you tell me your story one day, Lady Asprey? One of them, perhaps. I have had so many lives, Jonathan. Eternity may not be enough to relate them all. Do you know if the epidemic has affected many people in the West End? I confess I've been more concerned by events in the East End. The wealthy have more efficient ways of dealing with infection. But this is no common epidemic. That is true. I must tell my daughter to stay at home for a few days. But the girl is stubborn and fiercely independent. Much like her mother. Goodbye, Elizabeth. Hmm. I'm a bit confused... how... Elizabeth has a daughter because she couldn't have had a daughter before she was a vampire that would be that person would be long gone long dead so she must have had this daughter more recently or maybe she adopted her 
That's entirely possible as well, actually.